Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. Today I have a different kind of haul for you guys, one that I've never done before. This time I'm checking out all of the swimwear at Amazon. If you're new to YouTube, which you're not, you probably have seen these types of haul before where people go on Amazon and they buy like a bunch of whatever their specialty is. Um, and so I noticed that some people I've seen buy from Amazon actually tend to have decent luck with Amazon. I was kind of surprised. So I thought, you know what? I love me a swimsuit. It is officially sun's out, buns out season. I'm actually filming this on Memorial Day. So it is officially like the start of swim season, pool season, sun's out, buns out season, sky's out, thighs out season, like that, we're here, we're in the throes of it. When am I not ever in the throes of it? But we're in the throes of it. And I thought, you know what, this could be a fun way to show the babes some new swimsuits and who knows, maybe we'll get lucky. And I think we kind of got lucky, you guys. So before I get started, there are a couple things I want to bring up before and just, with the exception of one swimsuit, this is kind of true of all of the swimsuits that I'm gonna show you guys. They are thin, they are not shapewear-esque, torrid, suck you in, snatch you up, that kind of thing. Like that's not how these swimsuits are. From a quality standpoint, I would say that they are closer to a Forever 21 in, in you know, uh, quality, stitching, that kind of thing. Um, that being said, that's not a bad thing. I just don't want you guys thinking that you're gonna spend your money and get like a really quality item. Um, you're gonna get a really nice item that's gonna last you a um, couple seasons, but that's kind of about it. So I do wanna mention that before I get into it so I don't have to say it for every single one. But know that until I say otherwise, we're looking at very thinly lined, if lined at all, swimsuits, um, and poor stitching, and uh, when you put them on, like the stitches pop and stuff. So just those caveats, I wanna get those out of the way. Um, I do have one swimsuit that kind of breaks all of those rules and is amazing, but I will get to that. But first, I'm going to start off with um, one that reminds me of a higher end swimsuit. So this first swimsuit I'm gonna show you, as I mentioned, reminds me of a higher end swimsuit that I have. If you saw my swimsuits for all haul or one of my swimsuits for all hauls last year, you'll know that I um, purchased a monokini that had a paisley kind of boho vibe to it. it was, and I still have it, it currently is still gorgeous. Um, actually, shockingly ended up being one of my favorite swimsuits of the year last year. I didn't anticipate that because I thought it was going to just be okay, but when I got it, it was really great. So this kind of reminds me of that aesthetic. So if you like that, and I'll pop up a picture right here, and by me, I do mean Sharky, who is um, my new editor, and I will have a video introducing the new team members and kind of giving you guys like updates on what's going on. But Marissa, who I call Sharky, will pop in a picture of me right here in the swimsuit I'm talking about so that you can kind of see a side by side. So the bottoms of this one, super, super cute. So we're wearing a blue paisley with cream and burnt orange and red and brown um, little bottoms. They are really nice. They are thin, as mentioned. All of the things I mentioned in the intro are true about this one. Um, so we are getting kind of, you know, minimal support and all that stuff, but we are getting maximum print and I really, really like this. The top that goes with it is so pretty. So it's not a monocle the way my one from last year is, but it is a two piece with a wrap, so it mimics that aesthetic. Um, the band is not adjustable, which is a big, like, oh, uh, not a fan of for me. Like, just not a fan of that because I like to be able to adjust it and they can't with this one. But the straps are adjustable, so there's that. So they do have underwire. Um, because I had to get this in a size of 4X, because thank you, Chinese sizing. Um, the top doesn't fit me. It fits more like a, I would say this is probably equivalent to like a size 20, maybe 22-ish. So doesn't fit so much in the cups, but the wrap is so cute. And the wrap is the reason why I'm going to be hanging on to the swimsuit. I love that you can wrap these around your waist and I love how long they are because that means you can tie them in the back. So what I did was I tied it in the back, low on the back, and I just let them hang. I thought it added a cute little detail to the back of it. And because of the way these straps crisscross around my waist, it made me kind of look snatched. It really brought attention to the center of my body and made it look like a one piece kind of monokini vibe, which I really did like. So this one swimsuit was a winner for me. I wish that the band was, um, you know, smaller or at least adjustable. I will see if this is something that can be taken in. Um, taking in lower quality items like this always makes me worried because I feel like once you do it, there's no going back. So I'm going to see if that's a possible and I'll let you guys know if it is. Um, but otherwise, I do really like this and I think I'm going to hang on to it. This next swimsuit Ugh, it's such a peach, you guys. I freaking love this one so much, so much. Okay, so um, I should have to show you the print and you're gonna be like, yeah, obviously you like it because basic. And I'm like, 
<laughs> yeah, pumpkin spice latte is great. Um, so cute, right? <laughs> I'm dying a little bit. So this um, is a pineapple print. It's got a blush base with a gold pineapples, and then the tops of the pineapples that are normally green are blue and purple, but like pastel shades. This reminds me so much of my favorite Instagram artist, Matt Crump. I'm gonna pop a little screenshot of his Instagram up here. Um, his artwork is kind of like candy colored pop art. I just, I adore it. I love it so much. So I love like this print because it reminds me so much of his work. So, so cute. Um, thinly lined, no, not lined bottom, thinly lined cups. We have a lattice detail down the center, which this works out really nicely. There's enough fabric on each side that I feel like I'm getting coverage. I don't feel like I'm hanging out. It's a little big. Um, and I really like how high the coverage is in the back as well. We have two little thin straps going up and over the shoulders to give you real support and adjustable little thingy do's here. You know, little thingy do's I'm talking about. These little thingy do's, you know, the thingy do's. They adjust you so that you fit really nicely. So this one is a banger for me. I freaking love this. Um, I know that the print is what makes me love it. I've always wanted a swimsuit like this and they are not like widely available. So I'm super into it and I'll be wearing this a ton, ton, ton this summer. So I will say going into this next swimsuit that as a rule, I don't really believe in like bad products, if that makes sense. So there are certain things that are bad for me. There are certain things that are that don't work for me. Um, and obviously that's a generalization, but for the most part, I don't really look at an item and internalize it and go, oh my God, that didn't work for me. There's something wrong with me or that item sucks. Like unless there's construction issues, stitching issues, quality issues, for the most part, nothing really sucks. It just isn't for me. So this next swimsuit isn't for me. Um, and I'll tell you why. There's a huge misconception, I think, amongst humans, retailers, manufacturers, whatever, that plus size women always have large chests. Um, we can use two YouTubers as examples of plus size women that don't have huge chests. Loi Lane and Sarah Ray Vargas um, are two women that are friends of mine that do not have well endowed chests. They have, their bodies are beautiful and perfect as they are, and they are not someone that require a lot of space in the chest. So actually, this swimsuit, if you can picture their bodies in your head, think about how great this would look on them. It just isn't the right one for me. So this is a black and white monokini. The bottom is so cute. It's got a palm black and white print, really great. Comes up nice and high in the back. Fits fantastic. The top, unfortunately, is made for someone with a smaller chest than I have. So as you guys can see, there's like a lot of extra space kind of everywhere. Um, and it just didn't work for me. I do like the construction of it in the sense that these tie around the back, so you're getting a really good fit there, and tie around the neck, which again, really good fit. But there's just not enough cup space for me that I am kind of spilling out like north, south, east, west. Like there's just spillage everywhere. Like if I sneeze, I'm gonna get arrested. Like it's just not, it's not ideal for me. So while I could sit here, you know, if I were bitter and angry, I could sit here and be like, oh my God, they should have made it. How do they not know? Not everyone has my chest. Not everyone has my body. And I don't have that big of a chest either. Um, as you guys, I have my um, stats down in the description, but I wear a 30 double D and a 40 D. Um, it's not a personal attack on me that this doesn't fit me. It's not a personal attack. It just means that it's not cut for my body. So um, I will be sending this guy back or donating it probably. Um, Amazon's really easy to return stuff to, so you can always just like pop it in a locker and you're usually good. Um, but yeah, this is just not the right one for me, unfortunately. It's a really nice little suit, and I think if you're on a budget and you have a smaller chest, this is gonna look beautiful on you, um, but she's just not the one for me. I wanted to take a break from swimsuits to talk to you guys about some cover-ups. There are a lot of great cover-ups on Amazon. I'm actually kind of surprised. So this first one I'm gonna show you is just a sarong. It's just a piece of like basically polyester that's making chiffon. She's sheer. She's see-through. She's useful. It's great. I love these because I love tying them around my waist. Um, especially this over like a black swimsuit would just get like a really nice monochromatic vibe. Um, I did a video, God, was it two years ago now at least? Maybe three? I'll link it up in the cards. Um, about six, six or eight different ways to tie a sarong and show you guys how versatile they are. So if you have a bunch of these and you don't know what to do with them or don't know how to wear them, like check that video out. It's really, really useful. It has a lot of great ideas for you. Um, so I bought this, I thought it was cheap. It's just a it's just a scarf. It's just a fancy scarf that I'm gonna wear over a swimsuit and be done. Um, so on that note, I wanted to talk to you guys about sarongs and swim cover-ups because I think that this is the time of year that brands like to get sassy and they like to call scarves sarongs and then charge you $30 for them. 
Please don't, please don't. Okay, this is nothing more than a very large scarf. That is all that it is. It is a piece of fabric that is long, that is minimum 60 inches, and you know, it, it's a scarf. It's basically a scarf. So um, I don't want you guys necessarily looking at sarongs unless you're looking at a specific print and you fall in love with it. Don't think that you can't just also go into the scarf section at Target, Walmart, wherever you're shopping and grab something from there because it'll do the exact same thing. So just look for ones that are longer. And just to prove my point, let me show you two scarves that are the exact same thing as this. Okay, so I have a high-end one and a low-end one. So this one I think came from a Stitch Fix box, may have come from DN Co, may have come from Target, I don't know. But this is a scarf, was sent as a scarf, was sold as a scarf, and it is just a scarf. And if you wanted to wear it as a scarf, you, you could, and you could live your best life wearing this as a scarf. But it's so long that you can actually tie this around your waist and wear this as a sarong. Over a solid colored swimsuit, this would be beautiful around the waist, or beautiful tied up as like a one shoulder like toga vibe. This is so cute and it's just a scarf. It works just the same. Um, and the other one I have to show you and grab it is high end. And you better believe if I'm spending Alexander McQueen kind of money on something, I'm going to get all the mileage out of it. So this is a Alexander McQueen scarf that I paid a small fortune for. And here's the thing, I'm gonna wear this over a swimsuit because I paid a fortune for it and I'm gonna get my money's worth. Sorry, my shirt keeps writing up. Um, this is one that I freaking, I love this. I bought this shortly after he passed away and it says God Save McQueen on it. And I I just love this. I love the colors, they're so vibrant, it's so beautiful. It's a gorgeous scarf, it has a Union Jack on it. Tied around my waist over a black swimsuit it is, first of all, bougie. Second of all, gorgeous, gorgeous. And gives me more wear out of a scarf. So don't think that because something is built as a sarong that it's not just a fancy scarf. Go look in the scarf section if you're on a budget. Go find something that you really like. And if you like a sarong, fantastic. If you are looking at something that's just really a long piece of fabric, they are no different than the scarf. So go into the scarf section, find a fabric that you really like, find a print that you really like, tie it around your waist in the store, see if it works. If it does, check out baby, you're good to go. Save yourself some money and have fun and get something that you really love. The next one I have to show you is more of a kimono style cover up. I really, really, really like this one a lot. It's very bohemian, very springy. The print is just absolutely lovely. We have flowers, we have dots playful, whimsical, very bohemian, like I said, um, and it's full, full of color. So I really like this one. You just kind of throw it over the shoulders, pop your arms through, and you are good to go. This will be great over a solid colored swimsuit. Um, when you're when you're wondering what to pair with your swim um, cover-ups or any, maybe even like a kimono in your normal life, look at the colors in it, and then pick one that you like or pick one that you already have something up. So for example, this one has a ton of colors in it, but I remember last year, I hauled a swimsuit from Airy that had, it was like a army green kind of. And there's so much green in this that that would actually kind of amplify the green and kind of bring it all together. So go ahead and pick a color in here and then wear solid print of that or a solid colored swimsuit of that color. Does that make sense? I feel like I'm all over the place. Um, you know, you can wear purple swimsuit, you can wear burgundy, you can wear orange, green, black, white, um, blue, no, there's no blue, blush. I mean, there's just so many colors in here that you can tie into it. Um, another thing I did in the try and portion I wanted to call out to you guys is this one in particular has a slit on the front so that there's the back of the fabric and here's the front. When you have something like this, I showed you guys a little way to tie it up. You can just tie these two pieces around your waist and almost make it look like a shirt with like a long tail in the back. I like that when you're going from pool to, you know, bar or something and you're throwing on your shorts and you want to put your sarong on or want to put your cover up on. Using these two little pieces and tying them up around the waist kind of styles it a little bit more and makes it look like more of an outfit and just like you're throwing your swimsuit cover up over your cutoffs. That makes sense. So this is a really nice little versatile one. Again, tons of color, so it makes it really easy to style and play with and gives you a lot of mileage. Y'all, I thought this video was gonna be short, but it's not. <laughs> <laughs> um, this last one I have makes me mad because I wish it were cut wider, um, especially because it was sold as plus, but it's fine. Um, I freaking fell in love with the print. Look how beautiful this is. Like, is this not the most stunning print ever? I freaking love these like sheer 
thingy doos. Um, so this is similar to the other one where it has armholes, so you just kind of pop it through and then throw it over your shoulders. I wish this were wider because I feel like I want to wear it as a robe and just like be just drenched in this fabric. These are just like my colors. Like I, I just love these like pinks and purples and blues and these cool tone neons I think are so great. Um, yeah, really nice one. It comes with a little string that I used in the try-on portion, but mostly I'm just going to throw this on over a black swimsuit, maybe a pink one, and live my best life. I just love this. It reminds me of like a mosaic like stained glass butterfly wings. It's just really really pretty shocked that I found it on Amazon couldn't believe it um, and very very happy this next one that I have to show you is the one that I was talking about in the intro where I had an exception to the rule of thin and kind of shoddily made and like not the greenest colony and all that stuff um, this next one is actually made really well feels like a million bucks and I think if you are someone that's looking for quality at a bargain this is probably the one you should buy um, it's just is I mean look at this print <laughs> Like, of course I bought it, it's so cute. Um, so we have white based, um, these are banana leaves I think. So cute. Um, so here's the deal with this one. It is lined, it is nice, and there's the stretch there, but there's a lot of like, pull back on the stretch, so it feels like it's holding me in, especially when compared to the other ones. Um, it's not a struggle to get into, but sometimes, you know when you struggle to get into your swimsuits, but it's like the struggle that you want, you're like, I wanna fight my way into this, because I know that once it's on, it's like, pfft, like everything's gonna be like nice and snatched, so you get that with this. Um, and it has a really nice strong elastic in the waistband, so incredible quality on the bottom. And the top, and this is kind of where, not only is it constructed like a torrid swimsuit, kind of looks like one too, comes with one of these um, kind of tank toppy, flowy tops. I just love these, I think these are really cute. They're very flattering on just about anyone has adjustable shoulders as well. I'm just shocked at how well this is made. I think this is great. It has a bandeau underneath. The fit is really nice. Um, and obviously this print is right up my alley. So this is hands down like the knockout stellar purchase of this entire haul. Um, from a quality perspective, this is one of those that like, is probably the exception and not the rule, if that makes sense. Um, but I, I'm shocked at how well this is made and I cannot wait to rock this in the summertime. This next one is so much fun, you guys, so much fun. Um, it doesn't fit very well for me. One of the things I forgot to mention up until this point is that all of these swimsuits are like different sizes and drastically different sizes. So I'm wearing anywhere from a 2X to a 3X to a 4X depending on the swimsuit and depending on the size chart for each vendor. Um, so when you're shopping, please refer to the size chart because um, it's mostly accurate. And uh, this next one is accurate to what a what a 3X should be. Um, it is a little bit, is this a 3X? One, two, three, four X. This is a four X. Um, it is not accurate to what a four X would be, but I would say it's accurate to like a generous two X, small three X. Um, so the bottoms fit really, oh, first of all, look at this print. I'm gonna stop talking. Just look at this print. How fun is this? This looks like Carnival. Like this reminds me of like Rio, Carnival, like on the beach, like so much fun. I can just, can you just hear the music when you look at this? It's just, this is like I hear the music kind of swimsuit. Like I hear it, I'm there, I'm living, I'm dying, I'm breathing, it's amazing. Um, so much fun, I love the um, white and black zigzag print that's kind of put throughout. I love the colors are really nice and vibrant. I, I just really, really like this swimsuit. Downside is it doesn't fit very well in the top, so even though it is actually constructed with underwire and cups, I cannot take advantage because I am just flopping around in here, just like, flopping around in here. Um, I have no support in it because it's too big on top, unfortunately. Um, like the straps, so they are adjustable and they do come off. So if you're someone that prefers the strapless, then you're good to go. I will say that if you're someone that's fuller than I am on top and you're not as drastic of a top to bottom size differential, this is gonna look great on you. And please someone buy this and send me a picture of you in it because I know that this is gonna look great on like Apple body shapes and also hourglass body, basically any body shape that isn't mine. Please wear this, please, especially if you're dark skinned, my God, please buy this and send me a picture of you in it because I would like to know that someone's out there wearing this bikini or this swimsuit and looking absolutely gorgeous. Um, I don't know that it's gonna be me because it's too big, but I freaking love this one so, so much. It is so cute, so cute. <sighs> this next one, you guys. Oh God. Um, I mean, we had to have like a major fail, right? Like who? else would have thought that this whole Amazon thing would have gone this well. Who thought we were gonna skate right through this? We were not skating right through this. We were definitely gonna be like, ah, uh, and so the here's our ah uh, <laughs> moment. Okay, so um, here we go. It's a 3X and it is, okay, cute 
like great print obviously I bought it because the print is really great um, I've seen this technique before where some suit manufacturers will like put little holes or um, little hooks on the side and then string something through theoretically it's great because it gives you a more um, tailored fit you can adjust it's kind of like a wrap dress in that sense where you can like pull and adjust and make it fit you just perfectly so if you need a little more space if you need a little less space um, my I take issue with the amount of fabric that is given in the center because I'm holding this up and just as I hold it up this is perhaps the hip width of a size maybe a size 12 so when we're getting beyond that we're pulling or stretching and then what we're getting on the side is bulging this is not good vibes for anyone it's just not good vibes it's just not good vibes so um i think the sizing is, is way off on it i love the print i think it's great i'm not super mad at the design detail of the hook and pull i have another swimsuit that um is made like this and i just don't wear it very often because it's just not it's not the most flattering thing in the world um and i i know wear what you want and stuff but i'm not here to bulge out of the side of my swimsuit so this one is a super hard pass for me and the top that goes with it is an even harder pass for me um it is white and i thought it was gonna look really cute and sure doesn't so we have um you know just this whole bit so there's not enough boob space in here for me at all if you have smaller boobs i think this is going to be really great for you although i don't know that i recommend it because it's kind of poorly made um and this whole th stick in the middle sometimes this works out like on the pineapple suit there's a lattice detail and that looks really nicely sometimes when things are too small and there's not enough boob space this just ends up kind of looking like a butt crack through the center of it which is not a vibe you guys like it's just not a vibe so um this is a hard hard pass for me um thank you no thank you just no just no i just literally threw it across the room no definitely not absolutely not no okay we have reached our last swimsuit guys we are ending on a high note uh, i'm just gonna show you the bottoms i'm gonna get it out of the way because they are very simple they are just a plain black choney it's just a plain black choney it's fine if it's just fine it's thin she's stretchy she cute whatever i really like the top the top is super fun i'm gonna add that to my key pile um okay so she's cute she's a little big because we have to order one size for both pieces and so the top is a little big i'm trying to have it taken in something i don't know um this is too cute this is look every there's some stuff in here that is meant to serve in and stuff that is here to meditate in and some stuff is meant to be adorable and here is the freaking adorable so peach and green palm tree print adorable flouncy uh, adjustable straps you tie it in the back to get a good fit so here's the thing though with it being too big no matter how tight I tie this I'd have to bring the pom-poms in to kind of get like the perfect fit um but the pom-poms by the way can I get a minute these are so cute I know that this is kind of youthful uh, maybe a little too young for me and I don't care I think this is freaking cute with the black bottoms this is adorable as heck I love this so so cute I really like how it fits as well again it's just a little big so I'd like for it to be like a little tighter in the kind of rib cage area um, but other than that I think this is a really really nice swimsuit Amazon I think too that like mentally the bar is set like a little low because I mostly didn't expect any of the stuff to work out and I have some things that worked out and I'm like this is pretty good but I think that if I had ordered all this stuff from forever 21 I wouldn't be as excited I would have like met expectations so I will still say at the end of this forever 21 level meets expectations um, blue or green and white exceeds expectations and I know this is a really long haul I felt like there was a lot to cover a couple of detours and rants that I needed to go on to like get everything said but outside of that I think Amazon might be a viable place to get swimsuits okay guys so that is it for me in this Amazon haul I would love to know what you thought about the stuff that I got the quality of the stuff that I got do you shop on Amazon do you shop for clothes on Amazon would you shop for clothes on Amazon I think is the big question I know that they're making a big push to try and be more of a clothing retailer like an online clothing retailer Taylor, and I don't know that they're there yet so I kind of want to know what your perception is of shopping on Amazon I will say just overall better than I thought it would be um, I didn't expect anything to fit and I thought everything was gonna be a calamity so to have one major fail is actually kind of not too terribly bad in my opinion so that is it for me I cannot wait to hear your comments and hang out with you guys down in the comments down below I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are thank you so much for spending a part of your day with me I so so appreciate it I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video bye